Thank you, Madam Speaker. To the bill. To the bill. Colleagues, I, I appreciate uh, all the discussion. I'll try not to go too much over things that have already been said. Uh, but I did want to stand up and talk about a few points of uh, Senate Bill 324A and some of the comments that have been made. You know, I think it's important to uh, understand that uh, currently we, we have a fuel market that we've witnessed, th you know, 30 cent increase in the last week in the price of gasoline. A really volatile uh, price that's a totally out of state oil industry. We don't really have a lot of control over that. If we were really concerned about the consumers in Oregon, it seems like we'd be implementing a program like Senate Bill 324A to put some choice into our market so people can have a stable choice of alternative fuels to choose from. There's been a lot of discussion about biofuels and the, uh, you know, the issues with sugarcane in Brazil. You know, California isn't getting their sugar cane from Brazil. That came out in our committee. That's not where their sugar cane comes from. It comes from California. But there's a lot of other sources besides biofuels. Let's talk about biogas for a second. This is a technology that exists in Junction City right now from anaerobic digestion of food waste, creating biogas, taking methane out of our landfills, this would produce credits. That kind of fuel, those kind of alternative fuels are creating credits in this market that is a free market, an exchange between the producers. To get a credit, the credits are issued in Oregon. The credits will be basically used, leveraged into investments into this economy to continue to drive our technology of alternative fuels into the future. The whole idea of, of having this subtly grow up and the cost of the 4 to 19 cents per gallon that DEQ has, has projected, not 90 cents, but 4 to 19 cents, is, ten, is in 10 years. Right now, and I've heard discussion that, you know, this is not approved uh, a way to reduce uh, emissions. I'll remind you that, that uh, it's projected to reduce 7.7 .7 million tons of reduction of, uh, of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases. This, these are real numbers. Oregon should join the rest of the Pacific states in joining this region and driving this low carbon fuel economy forward, which is going to spread throughout this country and throughout the world and help address the issues of climate change and greenhouse gas emissions that are, that are really killing a lot of parts of our planet, our snowpack, you know, huge impacts to our economy there if we don't take action. You know, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm listening to Eeyore and this huge cloud, you know, over the top of us. You know, it's time I, my constituents overwhelmingly want us to adopt Senate Bill 324A. It's time for us to stand up and take action and do something instead of sitting back and going, oh no, we can't do something. It, it, it might have a negative impact. The stakes are too high. We do need to act. We need to join our neighbors and do this. You know, the, the whole idea of this credit thing is really a simple way to control the price of the credits, to make sure there's an availability of those credits. And as has been shown in California, they have excess credits after five years. The cost at, of gasoline, the increase in cost after five years is less than one penny per gallon. Now compare that to the 30 cent increase that we just experienced last week that has nothing to do with this. Let's also talk about what this does for Oregon's economy besides some of the other technologies. I do believe cellulosic uh, conversion to ethanol is in the future. And the investments that these credits will help uh, spur are going to help make Oregon at the forefront of that. 
You know, this is a much better way to turn this over to the private sector, the free market, to drive this economy forward instead of proposing a carbon tax that uh, gives us nebulous uh, sorts of results. Excuse me, Representative. Uh, Representative Reed yields his time. Please continue. Oh, thanks. Uh, so, so I just want to highlight some of those things that I see in Oregon. We had testimony from Oregon companies, Pacific Ag and Hermiston. We, we have lots of companies in Oregon that are already doing this stuff. You know, they would welcome the passage of Senate Bill 324A because it's going to put certainty into those that credit market which enables the investments that are going to drive them forward. Instead of operating out of state, a lot of our homegrown companies will come back and start building our low carbon fuel standard economy. And let's just talk about a little bit, you know, I talked about California's uh, success in this so far, but we also heard in committee that there were studies from MIT, Virginia Tech, and a few others highlighting that this low carbon fuel standard proposal is the best proposal at reducing greenhouse gas emissions that has come forward in the United States. You know, we can look at all the studies, we all have figures and numbers can show everything, but when you look at those peer-reviewed studies of, of MIT and the likes of Virginia Tech, UC Davis, these are top-notch studies and reviews of the effectiveness of this proposal. I really do think it's time for us to stand up as Oregonians, join some of the other Pacific states, and create this region that will drive this economy, that will have a availability of alternative fuels. Uh, that has come out that there is no problem with availability in California at this point. There are no problems with uh, available credits, which helps keep the, the price of the credits down. And in fact, if there is a, a problem with the price of those credits, DEQ has the authority to suspend the program, defer it, and make sure that uh, an availability of credits comes back into the marketplace. And I've also heard other points where people are saying, well, people are just going to hoard these credits and so the whole system will collapse. There is no incentive for, for those, these folks to hoard credits. They want to take those credits, invest it in this economy so they can get out in front of this because that's going to be a profitable thing to do and we're going to see a lot of jobs in Oregon, I believe, from that sort of mechanism. This is a smart, simple mechanism. It's going to have a great impact on reducing uh, emissions in Oregon and it's going to, I believe, do a great service to the world and create jobs in the Oregon at the same time. Colleagues, I urge an I vote for Senate Bill 324A.